We're gonna go into Target. Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new. It is 6.23 a.m. and I'm heading to the gym. I wanna show you guys my gym fit for today. So I'm just wearing this white pullover that I really like. It's really nice if you go to the gym in the mornings and it's like a little bit cold because it's long sleeve. Um, and this is from Gymshark, it's the Pipa training pullover. I'll link it in the description. And then I'm wearing my Lululemon Aligns in black. And then these are the Adidas NMDs um, in the kids version because they're cheaper. And then I just have my Lululemon festival bag. Let's go get our workout on. because it's so hard for me, but I know that like if I don't give up, I'll be proud of myself. The stair stepper is just the biggest challenge for me. Okay, I'm back home and I'm just gonna make some pancakes for breakfast. It sounds really good, but instead of doing regular pancakes, I'm gonna do these super simple three ingredient pancakes and I thought I would show you guys how I make them. So you just need coconut flour, two eggs, and a ripe banana. This one's not the ripest, but it's the ripest that I have. So I'm just gonna mash up the banana, add in the two eggs, and then one fourth cup of the coconut flour. So here's what they should look like when they're finished and I'm showing you guys this because I know that they're like a little lumpy and I don't want you to make these and expect them to like look perfect like a normal pancake but I promise you they're good and it's so much healthier because you know exactly what ingredients are in it versus buying like a pre-made processed box of pancake mix. So I'm going to cut up two strawberries and throw some blueberries on top and then I'm going to add this maple syrup. And I am measuring out my maple syrup instead of just pouring it on top because this is high in calories and I don't want to use more than I need. You guys know I'm food tracking, so I have to be particular about this kind of stuff.
How aesthetic is this beautiful masterpiece? Let me know if you guys make this. I love when you guys message me on Instagram and tell me that you made something I showed you in a vlog. It just makes me happy. <laughs> Okay, I just finished doing my hair and makeup. I actually made a little Instagram reel of how I do my little messy low bun. And I usually have like two pieces pulled out right here, but I just tucked it behind because I'm about to start packing orders and I don't want hair in my face. So I also made my oat milk latte. Mmm, we love it. And I have some orders packed, so I'm gonna do that. And then I also have a couple of errands to run whenever I go to the post office. I'm also gonna go to the tailor today and see if they can extend the length of a bodysuit. I don't know if that's something they do, but I'm really hoping they can do that because I have a couple of bodysuits that I really, really like, but unfortunately they're so uncomfortable to wear because I have a long torso and I run into that issue with 99% of bodysuits that I own. Like most of them are just too short for my torso. So I'm hoping they can extend it though because I really, really like these bodysuits. <laughs> Starbucks drive through now grabbing my coffee really quick although I don't even know why I do this like it's not fun grabbing a coffee anymore when you have errands to run because you can't take it with you while you're like in Target because you're wearing a mask like I that used to be my favorite thing was to grab a coffee and like drink it while I was shopping can't do it anymore though mm -mm. this is what my life has become ordering coffees letting them melt in my car <laughs> first world problems Coffee. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I've got my coffee, and if anyone is wondering, I got my OG drink, just a grande iced coffee with two pumps of white mocha and extra almond milk. Mm. Sometimes I do light half and half, other times I do extra almond milk. It just depends on the mood I'm in if I want like dairy or not. Anyways, I'm at Target, so we're gonna go into Target. Woo! Okay, 
Okay, I just got out of Target and I found a couple of things that I didn't need, of course. And then I also got Chad's Valentine's Day card. I'll show you guys. It's really, really, really cute. I always go out of my way. Like normally for any holiday, like birthdays and stuff, I get, you know, like a cheap card. But for Valentine's Day, I always try to find a cute one because we save them. Um, so this is the one I found. How we found each other in this big, crazy universe, I don't know. Just so cute. And then it says... I'm just happy we did. I love this. I think it's so pretty. So I have that for his Valentine's Day card. And then I also got a book for him because he likes to read when he's at the station if he has time like in the evening to wind down before he goes to bed. Um, so I wanted to get him just like a different book than what he reads at home. And he loves The Office, his favorite show ever. So I got this book. Um, he loves the podcast, The Office Ladies podcast and he listens to that all the time of course he's watched the series so many freaking times i can't keep track um but this is a book that he has never read and i know he hasn't read it because we saw it together when we were in target once and i don't know i kind of thought this was a cute book it has like pictures in it like it's really cool i don't think we're really like giving each other valentine's day gifts we're just gonna do like a really nice dinner together but i did want to just get him this book i'm about to put my face mask right back on because i have to go into Ulta now. Gotta grab something in there really quick and then we're gonna get lunch and head home. Got my stuff from Ulta and now I'm in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru just getting my Cobb salad and it just started pouring down rain and I'm just so glad that I made it through Target and Ulta before this rain started. So I didn't even get rained on because I'm literally wearing this bodysuit. I would have got soaked. I don't even have a jacket in here. So, or an umbrella. Why don't I have an umbrella in here? I really should. I'm back home and I've got my yummy Cobb salad for lunch. So excited. My light balsamic vinaigrette. And they actually did the right chicken this time. Last time they gave me chicken nuggets and I really like the cold chicken strips instead. Just changed into some comfies now that I'm back home. Sweatpants and a loose t-shirt. And I also am wearing my seamless bralette from somebody. Anyway, I got a couple of packages, so I thought I'd show you guys. I ordered a new pullover from Gymshark. Um, it's, it's like another black one. This is the Vital Seamless Half Sip in Black Marl. Here's what it looks like. Very excited. I feel like since I've been working out in the morning, it's cold in the mornings for me. So like when I used to just work out, I would wear like, you know, just a tank top or something. But by the time I get to the gym, I'm freaking cold. Also exciting, my BoxyCharm came in for February and I'm very excited to see what I got. This is my second month doing BoxyCharm and I just can't wait. Last month's was so good. I have my BoxyCharm like discount code in the description if you guys want to check it out. It's not sponsored or anything, but... Um, I think you can get a discount if you use like a referral code. First thing I see, this Ace Beauty Nostalgia Palette. Chat's calling me, hold on. Hello? Hey. Hey. Okay, well I will see you then. It's right next door. How was your salad? It was delicious. I love you, I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, it says this is the Nostalgia Palette. I don't know. Packaging is very pretty. Holy cow, these are some very, very bright colors. I can't say that um, I will use this palette, honestly. These colors are really, really bright. Super pretty, but definitely not my kind of colors. So I will save this and keep it with my giveaway items that I'm saving up for when I get to 100K. Okay, what else do we have? The St. Lux Limited Edition Liner Duo. Ooh, two really pretty lip liners, and they're both nude colors, which is perfect, because I I only like nudes. Then we also got this skincare product, Real Complexion Hyaluron Skin Essence 5-in-1 Moisturizing, Skin Glowing, Skin Boosting, Skin Balancing, Skin Softening. Oh my gosh, I don't quite understand what this is. Skin Essence. I don't know. Let's see. I'm not familiar with any of these brands so far. Usually I recognize a lot of the brands. Oh, wow. This is like a, a liquid. I was thinking it was going to be like a moisturizer or something. Okay, so it must be, um, you like put it on a cotton swab. Yeah. I'll give it a try. Use after washing the face and tidying up skin texture. Well, see what we think about that. And then I got the Levito Age Away Hydrating Cream. I also don't recognize this brand but none oh wait yes I do I do recognize this brand I actually got something from a box 
from a long time ago from them actually. Um, it was a lotion. Age Away Hydrating Cream. So this is probably really gonna smell good. It does smell really nice and it's very moisturizing. The Wander Beauty Double Day Lip and Cheek. This brand I actually do recognize, so that's exciting. I don't love this month's box as much as I loved last month's box, but that's okay. This is cute. This is probably my favorite thing, just packaging alone. So we have a pink color and then a like white color and it just says lip and cheek this is a like cream blush i'm doing this in the viewfinder right now so i really don't know huh maybe for valentine's day it's much later now i haven't really filmed much but i did want to show you guys what i'm eating for dinner um having broccoli and cauliflower rice and a bean burger, a veggie bean burger with um, mustard and pickles. And this is like a really thrown together dinner because we were supposed to do um, like a crock pot meal tonight, but I forgot to thaw out the meat. So we just made this. Guys, tonight is going to be an early night for me. I'm just like so tired. It's only 9.30, I'm already in bed. I usually read for 20 minutes and then go to bed. I am probably gonna finish this tonight or tomorrow. I'm so close to the end. I love this book. Now that I've discovered this like genre of this like current era, <laughs> it's so relatable to me and so good. I'm definitely going to try and find more books like this or at least buy this author. And this is that same book that I've been reading, people like her. It's just so good. I can't wait to finish this and just see what the outcome is, but I am such a slow reader.